Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Let's see what we got here. So Connor's being defiant. Meanwhile, wait, where is it? There it is. Meanwhile, we got uh, Desmond's dad being a good dad, saying I'll take care of the last power source of the third one or whatever. But I got a feeling it's a trap, man. I think Desmond's dad's about to betray us and I'm gonna have to kill that dude and be like, eat a dick, dad. Anyway, we got a long way to go here, man, and most likely I'm gonna stop at some viewpoints along the way. Let me see something. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, man. So, yeah. Whole bunch of stuff. What I should do is go buy me some stuff, like some arrows and shit. Not a good look. I haven't bought a single thing throughout this whole walkthrough yet, and we are so far. We're already on sequence nine. That's crazy. Wait, hold up. Definitely not this way. Definitely not that way. Up. Oh, we're going on foot. I'll see you later, horsey. Meet up with you later. What is this? I found me a clue. Oh, there's the hair right there. Definitely not gonna catch a hair on foot though, that's for damn sure. Huh. 
This is going to take forever. And why have I not ran into anything yet? Aw, oh, come on. Don't slide down. What are you doing? Get back up. Get back up. You can... Aw, oh, failed. Up. Oh, this looks more shallow. We can get up this one. Yeah, boy. All right, hold up. And we're out. Climb up. There we go. Figure it'll be faster this way than actually traveling through the what do you call it? The snow. Wow, I've still not ran into nothing. Up, oh, horsey, come back. Let's go. Don't casually walk, man. I need you to speed it up. What are you doing? Come on. Where the hell is this place? Up, oh, no horse again. Let me see. Oh, come on. Oh shit! Why didn't you land on the tree, man? Or the log or whatever. Not a good look. At least I didn't die though, so it works out. Damn it. We are so far. Get over here. What happened? What happened? There we go. Take that real quick. Woof. God damn it. Looks like we're gonna have to swim across. We're definitely about to freeze to death while doing this. No assassin is this probably. Come on now. This water's got to be like negative 40 degrees or something. At least we finally see some civilization. Finally see some people. Yeah, boy. We're almost there. Finally. It's a shame we couldn't fast travel this far. Anyway, here we are. Yeah, boy.
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. I'm on it. Oh, what is this dialogue? Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Moving on. So now we are helping George Washington. Yeah, boy. Connor is the reason he became such a great president, apparently. I love how this game just distorts the truth of historic events and just makes it its own. That's what I love about these games right here. Anyway. Bam. Father. Connor. Any last words? Wait. A poor choice. <laughs> Come to check up on church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. 
Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... <clears throat> perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. Ah, oh, come on. This could have been an epic battle right here and now. Oh well. There was a wagon here. Slowly weighed down as they loaded the supplies. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. So for the first meeting between father and son, man, I thought it was going to be... I don't know. I thought they was going to trade blows at least, you know, a couple of punches here and there. Just my look. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Right behind you. You're not faster than me. Tackle, bitch. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a cup just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? If you mind, just do as I ask. See, man. This is why you can't team up with a Templar, man. You're an assassin, bro. This is not a good look. Something bad's gonna happen. I got a feeling. We are now incognitus. Wait, what? Do not hide in the hay cart while following the convoy. I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. <laughs> they should have done that a long time ago. All this time. Serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. Make all those lives change the There was no dialogue at all, basically. All because I took a weird route. What am I doing? What am I doing?
Thank you kindly. You won't be thanking me when you hear what he's got planned. About time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? Of <laughs> course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. But on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Yeah. Can't see. Want some help with these louts? Meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave now? If you can't handle a couple of mercies, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Bring it on, bitch. I'm not scared of you. Oh shit. Bring it on, bit oh shit. Hold up, time out. Time out. It is getting a little risky. I am doing pretty damn good on this mission so far. I don't want to fail by desynchronizing. What's good? What's good? Juke move, bitch. Yeah, got me some health back. Back in action. Bam. Damn it. Yeah, get him out of here. And we got a new email. Mission complete. I did all those optional objectives. Body this mission. Feeling good about this one. Yeah, boy. End of this mission.